Hi everyone. Welcome to the YouTube of H10 Hanshin Tigers English News. Minasan domo H10 Hanshin Tigers English News no Kirei to Sanjay desu. Domo yoroshikoshimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Saate, today Sanjay the Hanshin Tigers or Hanshin Hankyu Hanshin Holdings had their annual stockholders meeting and um this is a rather interesting annual event that takes place and let's keep in mind that Hankyu Hanshin is not exclusively Hanshin Tigers right i mean we're talking this is it's railways. a holding company it's a holding company that owns the department store and the railways and all this kind of stuff right yeah indeed i mean they are very wealthy and they've got a lot of stuff going on and they open up these meetings every year of course to shareholders who are then able to come in and ask questions about the direction of the company and inevitably what happens is that every year fans of the team who happen to have a couple of shares or whatever will come in and ask minimum questions lot about a thousand shares i'm sorry minimum lot size is a thousand shares oh there you go so i mean these are fairly influential important people it's not just like yeah the guy who no, had... no 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 that, that's what i mean it's not very it's not a lot right okay there you go so anyhow um, this has been going on for several years. Actually, Hankyu took over Hanshin, I believe, in 2006. And so this, um, this meeting makes the headlines every year around this time of year. And depending on how the Tigers are doing, sometimes the stories that come out of this are rather interesting, and other times the stories are just rather vanilla. So let's go back and look at, first of all, what's happened in the past at some of these meetings. And then we'll move into um, what happened at today's meeting. Today, by the way, is June the 15th, 2022. ちょっとね、本語でまとめますね。あの、ハンキュ、ハンシン、ホールディングス、なんでしたっけ、HDね。HD。え、はい。株主総会ですね。はい。が、今日行われました。で、え、毎年、え、これがま、大きなニュースにな
変わりました。So then for a few years, there was, well, there's nothing in this article anyways. Surely there were things going on at these meetings, but 2018, so it was June 13th, and the Tigers, one of their advanced scouts was in Sendai and、uh, used his phone camera in an inappropriate way. We'll leave it at that. So that was, of course, criticized at this meeting. We also had a、uh, $3.4 million Rosario、um, who was. Performing poorly, at least according to fans and managers' expectations. And so the interesting comment that was made by a stockholder was How, how would I say this? Uh, uh, self、uh, deprecating or? Self, yeah, not even deprecating, right? It's just sort of like、um, committing your or, or sh- showing. What is it? It's like mea culpa book. It's hard in English to say. But, anyways, yeah, why don't you put out a book about all your foibles and failures? I'm surely it would be a bestseller. You know, you have failed so many times trying to get a good Gai Kokujin player, foreign player. You know, if you made a book like this, it would definitely sell. You could be a top be seller. A top, <laughs> yeah, and you would be a top business、uh, corporation if you did that. So, yeah, talk about、so、how not to run of- a business or something, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that was kind of interesting one in 2018. So in 2019,、um, one of the shareholders said the、uh, scouts for the other teams are holding their bellies from laughter because of how we're, we're drafting. And like, if you were to, to make this an analogy with when you're sitting at a kaiten sushi, a, a place with the sushi going around on, on the bell conveyors, that, that you're letting the to- otoro and the uni go by you and starting off with the taco and the ika, the squid and the octopus, the cheap, cheap place first. <laughs> yeah.、Uh, just interesting, you know, like, okay, this is Osaka, it is Kansai. And so you get these definite, like, just real interesting comments, right? Yeah, for sure. So, the next one was in 2020, which was the year that the pandemic started. And of course, just before the season was supposed to start in March, Fujinami, among a bunch of other players, ended up getting COVID 19. And again, this was early in the pandemic when there weren't nearly as many cases. And it was certainly brought to the spotlight that they got it at a party that they were not supposed to be going to. And this stockholder said, it's not Fujinami's fault. It's because the team basically has been treating him like a star. And they're giving him this star treatment, even though he doesn't necessarily deserve it, or he needs to be still guided properly. You know, they let him out of the dorm a year earlier than you're supposed to, because、um, they're supposed to keep these young guys in the dorm to educate them before they're set free to live on their own or whatever. And the problem is that the team needs to do a better job of raising its young players, was what they said then. Now, I have to say that I, I, I know some people who. Echoed this sentiment even as recently as last year. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's, you know, it's an interesting、uh, topic though. Ne, ano, in Japan, right? Nihon dewa ne, kono, shido to ka, ikuse to ka, sono, otona, otona ni, ma sodatsu, otona ma sodatsu, you know, ga, ko, kyudan no, sekinin, na wake ne. So ne. De, sore ga, tam, kai ga yata ra, kangai ra nai, in desu ne. そう、考えられない。もう個人個人が自分で成長して、自分でそのまあ賢い判断とかね、決断をして、自分がそれなりにこう、自分のタイミングでいい大人になるわけですよね。うん。球団の責任じゃないよね、うん、アメリカでは。そうそうそう。だから球あ、まあそれは学校は同じことが言えるんですよね。例えば、うん、あの喫煙事件とかでね。それが日本だったらもう大きくこうね、話題というか。学校が騒ぐわけですよね。で、担任の先生誰やとかって、ねうん、その子に、ね、言われて、海外では考えられないことですよね。親ですね。親です。親、うん。はい、うん。So, yeah, it's interesting that the way that, just to recap what I said in Japanese there, like in、uh, Japan, the responsibility to raise these guys, to bring them into adulthood is on the team. And it's not on the individual, where, yeah, like in North America or in many、uh, countries, Outside of Japan, outside of Southeast Asia,、um, it's definitely on the individual and not on the organization. The same goes for schools, as I said, where you know, homeroom teachers mean so much here. If a kid gets in trouble, they drag him to the homeroom teacher, not to his parents, his or her parents. I say his because it's usually he. Anyhow, <laughs> let's, not, let's not go there any further. Okay, 
So at last year's meeting though, man, there was nothing really talked about. There were no criticisms of the team because we were doing so well in the standings. And as it turns out, of course, we didn't win the pennant, which is the way of the Hanshin, right? Not always. Not this year. No, no. This year's different, right? Yeah, we're going to win the pennant. Yep, yep. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Yes. So let's get to the first piece of business that went down at this meeting because it is of high importance. And somebody had said, listen, I don't understand why I can't buy me some good squid on a stick at Koshien Stadium. What is going on here? I want to buy this stuff. I think that it would sell well. Why do you guys not sell it at the stadium? <laughs> that's, that's you want to know something? You want to know something? Back in my day, I was able to buy the squid on a stick at the stadium, and I loved it. It was awesome. See? So maybe he had something there, right? He has a point. Yes. Well... You know, often the organization will think ahead, what kind of questions are they going to be asking at this meeting and how do we answer them? So that, you know, of course, they're not caught off guard with, you know, oh, oh well, we, we don't know. But this one must have been really hard because I don't think they could have imagined that one of the important questions being asked at this, you know, this meeting with billions of dollars invested in all sorts of things in this organization that they would be asking about squid on a stick kayaki, <laughs> at okay. Koshien Stadium. However, <laughs> Uh, pretty good answer though right yeah it's a great answer net like they said yeah we understand that if you go to the hanshin department store at umeda we know that it's a best seller there you know we just reopened it and it's selling there and we change the menu every year at koshian and so we will think about it for the future but right now we are not considering making that change mid-season good answer yeah so you can change you know, the staff of the team, you can change the players, but you can't change the menu at the stadium. Is that how it goes? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, interesting. All right. Okay, what was the second uh, issue that came up that we saw in uh, these articles, Sanjay? Oh, put me on spot there. I can't, I can't get to the second article right now. Go man. Okay, then I'll, I'll go with it. Uh, basically, yeah. it was, how could you have possibly accepted um, Yano, Mr. Yano's uh, resignation before the start of camp? What is up with that? I can't believe what a selfish uh, decision that was on his part. And then, you know, um, the, the, the players do the old hoisting the manager in the air at camp. Like, what is going on with this? What are you guys starting? Like, what, what do you guys have in mind for the next manager here? We really want to know what is going on as far as the managerial situation with the Tigers. And uh, the answer that they gave was kind of interesting as well. They said, you know what? Nobody on the team, none of the players... Um, has experienced uh, a Yusho uh, winning of the pennant uh, with the Tigers. It's been 17 years and nobody uh, has been with the team that long. And so um, we want to put an end to that streak this year. And so, um, you know, we believe that Mr. Yano um, has got that at the front of his mind as he goes into his final year. And the guys that made the decision to do the doage, to do hoisting him in the air. Of course, we understand that some might disagree with this, but these were two guys that came over from the Oryx Buffaloes in uh, Itoi and Nishi. And he's right. Uh, those were the two that did it, right? But Yeah, um, that's right. Yeah, but at the same time, um, I don't know if he was trying to just kind of transfer the blame to those two players or not. Like, And they're not even guys we drafted. So, you know, the Oryx is the one that raised them, right? It's not our problem with raising players. It's <laughs> Oryx. It's their fault. I don't know. I don't know if that was his his thinking, but it was just interesting. A little bit, I felt like there was a bit of deflecting of the blame. It was there. deflecting, but I thought it was clever deflecting. And I thought it was kind of clever, too, to say that, you know, this is sort of their way of saying we want to bring Project 2022 to a fruition, just like Yano was saying. Mm, mm hmm mm hmm yeah so clearly this is one that they thought through right they knew what they knew that this question was coming that they would have to answer it yep I okay agree. so the third one is also actually very important it is definitely uh not on the level of squid on a stick but it certainly is it merits um uh discussion and that was okay the team you know uh is continues to depend a lot on free agents and foreigners and it's not a good way to uh, develop a team you know it'd be like a i'd be like a farmer cheating instead of actually uh cultivating uh the land and working on the soil himself it would be like him using extra stuff in the soil to try to make it grow stuff better and taking shortcuts so what is the team planning to do as far as that goes like are there any plans to start a third squad a sangun if you will 
And this is something that I would love to see the team do personally. I don't know what you think. No, I think it's a, it's a fair point. And it's not that something that any team can do because that costs a lot of money. Yeah. But you think that if the SoftBank Hawks and the Yomiuri Giants can do it, then the Tigers certainly have the financial wherewithal to do it as well. Well, and I think, I mean, like, I know this is just looking short term, but our overall team salary is in the lower half of the league um, this year and has been actually since, dare I say, but since, you know, Toritani-san, Nomi-san, Fubirome-san, a lot of these veterans are gone. And then also Itoi uh, took a huge pay cut to come back in 2022. And so we don't really have a lot of big price tags. And so, again, it's short term, but we don't have that you know what I mean? Like a lot of uh, expenses in terms of that. And so they definitely could stand to invest some money back into the team and do something like this. There is also the fact that um, we are opening a new ballpark in 2025 for the farm team. Um, and it's going to be in an area called Daimotsu. It's in Amagasaki and is right along the Hanshin line. And so they're going to be getting more revenues from people going to the, those stadiums because they'll have more seats in those stadiums. It's accessed via Hanshin instead of by bus. And so it's, just, it's definitely going to bring in some more income. So why not just invest that right back into the product and get a third squad? They could even just keep using Narohama as the third squad place. Don't let fans in. And that kind of becomes the motivation for those third squad guys to get out of there and say, look, I want to play in front of fans. I want to at least make it up to the second squad, <laughs> if not the first squad. So I don't know. Yeah, and I thought the analogy was pretty clever here because they're talking about the farm team and they're talking about growing crops and not being too reliant on chemical fertilizers and so on. So I thought that was clever. Right, yeah. So anyways, um, the response from the chairperson was that, yes, it is true that the team has uh, definitely dipped into the free agent market and tried to go after the big name uh, foreign players, and we've been leaning hard on them in the past. However, our scouting has gotten a lot better. We've gotten a lot better vision for uh, the long term um, with our drafting, and we really feel like we have finally started to see some fruit from that. I don't know if that's another farming analogy or not, but anyways, um, definitely said that this is something that we can continue to see growing in the right heading in the right direction. And although we know that SoftBank and Yomiuri do have a third squad. At present, we are thinking it through, but we are not going to be making any decisions in the present. Right away, yeah. And I think that was really just averting, uh, you know what I mean? Like they didn't want to give a solid answer. So I would guess they're probably saying, no, we're not thinking about it. But instead they said, well, we're thinking about it, but we're not going to do anything just yet. Very Japanese answer. Yes, definitely, definitely. And so now we've got to wait another 12 months before the next meeting to find out what people are going to be asking about. What kind of food are they going to be requesting at Koshien or whatever it might be? Uh, but find out if squid on a stick is going to be available. ねえ、来年イカ焼きがあるかどうかね。もうそれがポイントですね。もしね、ね、春から Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for listening to us blather on about uh, what I think is a fun annual event with the Hanshin Tigers, and I hope you enjoyed our talk. As always, uh, subscribe to the channel, keep listening to us on the podcast and following us all across the socials and on H10, the website. Thanks, Sanjay, for joining. Thanks for having me, as always. Minasan ご清聴ありがとうございました。またね。ありがとうございました。頑張れ阪神タイガース。Go go。